Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of Yorkie Training with Evie. I know it's been a minute. We haven't been on for a while because honestly, I've been so occupied with my house, trying to get it together, getting Evie to be housebroken at this home, particularly now that it has a lot of levels. But I just kind of wanted to give you a rundown of her three-year annual exam. Um, just trying to give you the status of what it's like to have a three-year-old Yorkie now. So you know, her status, her weight and everything. Evie, come. Come here, Evie. Come here. I want to show everybody you because you're the star. Okay, this is all about you. <laughs> so here is Evie. And Evie is three years old. She turned three July 27th. And um, to be honest, she is built a little more stockier. So she's very, very stocky. She weighs about nine pounds eight, nine pounds, but she still looks small. She's just more like a stockier Yorkie. She's not like a mini Yorkie or anything or a toy Yorkie. Um, but overall, her health is very good. Her personality is still super high energy. She still has that overprotectiveness. And I think it might be because that she's a female. Some boy dogs might be the same, but I feel like female dogs are more uh, overprotective with their families. Some concerns that I have for Evie is that she is she doesn't really work well with other dogs. This is one area of difficulties that I'm trying to adjust for her. I am incorporating some dog park dates with my cousin's dog and my friend's dogs at my local dog park, which is in the neighborhood. So I'm bringing in like a large dog, a medium sized dog and letting her get desensitized to the size of those dogs. Because if your dog is not exposed to those other breeds, they tend to be kind of yappy or like overprotective and, and kind of attacky. Evie has that trait. So one thing about me, I don't sugarcoat anything. If there are areas that need to be worked on, I recognize it and I try to find out a way to correct it. And that is one thing that I'm doing. So every Mondays we're going to the dog park just so that way Evie can get desensitized. Has there been kind of a few slip ups? Yeah, Evie actually has ran headstrong to a large Labrador, a Labradoodle. The dog was super friendly, but Evie was like the aggressor. Oh my gosh, I was so disappointed. I felt like a disappointed mom. <laughs> but again, we do walks. I walk her twice a day and my, my kids, when they get home, they walk her in the afternoon. Um, but she's not so exposed to other dogs. She's exposed to other humans. And right now I'm training her not to fully go towards other humans or other people so that way she won't be so friendly or she feels like she can just have it her way. I, you can't really give your dogs too much freedom. Well, Evie's overall health is very good. She does eat twice a day and I've been switching her food to three different foods because these breeds tend to be super bored of the food in front of them. So I switched to like a Purina. She still is on science diet and she still uses um, Royal Cannon, the Yorkie brand. Wow. But yeah, she still knows all her commands. What am I training now? I am training her for like an agility obstacle course. I'm actually interested in getting one of those just to kind of like get her energy out. They always say a, a tired dog is a good dog. So I am going to get one of those agility training courses for her. And I mean, it's kind of getting cold in the East Coast right now. So that's just in preparation for the spring and the summer coming next year. I'm trying to get her legs and her core tighter just for fun. It's not like I'm training her to be a show dog or anything. It's just uh, just for fun kind of situation. But yeah, you know, she likes it here. That is her three year old checkup. Um, I found a new vet vet in Maryland as well that Evie goes to and she really, really loves that veterinarian. Since we moved, we had to switch that up and then she got all her shots. She's up to date. So she has all like everything that she needs for survival. <laughs> her weight is good. You know, they kind of told me that um, eight to nine pounds for her. Uh, breed is is good because she's not a toy Yorkie and and again some Yorkies are sized up to 12 pounds too So depends on the genetics of the breed, but yeah other than that I don't really have any concerns for Evie. She's doing very well 
and we look forward to the next and coming videos i did take a mental break off of youtube for a while just trying to get my health together and make that my first priority but i miss you guys i'm back on here now so you're gonna see regular videos weekly if not monthly so stay tuned for that and if you guys like this video and want to see more videos don't forget to comment below. Let me know about your Yorkie, how old your Yorkie is. Are you excited for your new puppy that you're getting? You know, I've gotten so much feedback from you guys in the comments. And I'm honestly so glad that my videos has been helping you out. Like you just don't know how much it means to me. We reached 10K subscribers. I'm so happy and ecstatic. Tell me what you wanna see. Ask me some questions so I can feature it in the next video. And till next time, we'll see you. <laughs>